Hi, dear third grade artists. I hope you are all well. Right now, I'm excited to share with you the meaning of value in art. In your week five and six art assignment for distance learning, you're going to be watching a video about this painting. In the painting, you will notice only one color, well, black, and um, different lighter and darker versions. So this painting is an example of a painting with different color values. And if I just Google color value scale, you can see that I find every color, for example, this one, um, has different lighter to darker values. Yeah, it's not really one. There it is. So I've used this one with um, fourth grade, but it's new for you guys in third grade. And so if you have any color, if you're doing coffee painting at home, you're going to have a brown or color. Or if you have real paint and you want to pick blue or any color, you can. But from your one color, you're going to create lighter and darker. If you remember in the art room, we had this poster. So as you can see, um, we also call the lighter values tints and the darker values shades. And you can even say, um, for example, like over here, this is a lighter value of red. Down here, this is a darker value of green. Over here, this is a lighter value of, of blue. So that's how we use the word value in art. And it just helps us to explain, you know, when we have so many colors, thousands of different colors, it helps us to explain exactly what color we are making, exactly what colors we are talking about and looking at when we are looking at art. So now that you know what it means, um, different color values, in your assignment this week, this is your rubric, there is a section where it says, did you use many color values, light to dark tints and shades? And I've zoomed it in here. But in order to get an M in that section, you're going to be required to show three or more values of the one color throughout your drawing or painting. So if you don't have paint or you don't have coffee, it's a coffee painting this week, you can do this even just with pen by creating areas with more dots or more lines that look darker with an area that looks lighter, an area that looks medium, and an area that looks darker. So, and it says there, light to dark or tints and shades. All right, so you're only going to need one color, just like we only see here, one color, but you're going to need lighter and darker values. Now make sure that you have gone to the Google Slides of week five and six and that you've read through the options and the materials needed so that you understand the project and as well make sure that you watch the video about this Chinese painting, The Poet on the Mountaintop.